Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Outlook Anywhere web app to set up a meeting request inside of your calendar. You can see here I've gone ahead and logged into my Outlook Anywhere account using my campus credentials. And I'm in the mail section, so I'm going to come here and click on calendar. And you're going to see that we now have a calendar view in daily view for today. You can use this little mini map or mini calendar over here to jump to wherever you want in the current month or you can use these arrows to jump to other months. It's really easy to jump back to the current date by clicking go to today right here. So let's say I want to set up a meeting for February 17th. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the 17th here in my mini calendar and I'm not going to click the new button because clicking the new button would create a new appointment for me. What I want is a meeting request. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow to the right of new and you're going to see I get some choices including the choice for meeting request here. When I click that a new dialog box is going to open up that's going to allow you to set up your meeting. The first thing you're going to do is put in the required optional uh, the required and optional attendees and then request any resources. In this case we're just going to invite a couple people to this test meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and type in and again I'm just typing in the first little bit of their username and Outlook should be able to find it for me fine. You're even going to notice that it brought up a little tip there and I can just hit tab and that will fill out the person's name. Otherwise, I can come here to click check names, just like I would in an email, and um, it will confirm the uh, individual's names. I can set optional attendees right here and put any resources that I want in this section. The subject is going to be training. I'm going to go ahead and say sample training meeting. And the location, I'll go ahead and do a room here. You can request responses to these invitations or if you just want to send the meeting invitation out and not worry about who's read it and who's responded, you can uncheck that. But normally we want to leave that checked. And then you can set up the start date and start time exactly like you would for a, uh, a regular appointment on your calendar. If you want this to be a recurring meeting, you can click here on the recurrence tab or on the recurrence button. And when I click that, you're going to see that it allows me to set up a recurrence for this. I'm going to set this up to recur weekly, and I'm going to say it ends after um, four appointments. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and say this meets every other week, so I'm going to put the two in there. So I've said the recurrence pattern should be weekly. It's going to repeat every two or every other week on Thursdays. And I want to end this recurrence after four appointments have been, or four meetings have occurred. And when I click OK, you're going to see that the date and the time section has been replaced with this repetition section. So in order to modify the dates and the times, you would either need to open up the individual meeting or go again here into the recurrence option and set that up here. Now coming down here, just like a normal calendar appointment, you can go ahead and set up whatever kind of notes you want down here and format them using these tools. And again, these should be fairly familiar to you from working with Microsoft Word or the full version of Microsoft um, Outlook. And I'm going to go ahead and say sample meeting request for video tutorial. So I've gone ahead and set that up there. I can also click the attach file button here and I can attach documents to be sent to the meeting recipients. I'm going to go ahead and click on that little um, paperclip icon there and I have some sample documents on my desktop and I'm just going to go ahead and choose this Word document right there and you'll see it now says attached and we have that option right there or we have the name of the document. If I click the X right here, it will delete that attachment from the message for me. And you can add multiple items if you wish. I can click here again, and I can go ahead and um, go back into that folder. And this time I'm going to attach an Excel spreadsheet right there. So I'll click that and click Open. 
and you're going to see I have both of those documents there. And again, there's a little X here. If you attach a document, you no longer wish it to be in there. When you're ready to send your meeting request, you simply click the Send button right here. If you want to save this as a draft and come back later and finish it, you can click on the Save icon right here. So we're going to go ahead and click Send. And the meeting request has been placed on my calendar. And it's now going to go ahead and send the meeting request out to different individuals. And you'll see there's my sample training meeting on the 17th. If I click another day, you'll see it's in bold there. And we said it recurs every other week, so you'll see it's skipped the 24th, and it's on the 3rd. And this is a meeting that we put in there in a previous um, video. So that's all there is to sending a meeting request using Outlook Anywhere.